Hi, in this video we're going to talk about Delphi extensions. Here we can see three popular Delphi extensions on the front splash screen. They're all free or open source and they can significantly improve your Delphi programming experience. At the end of the video I'll demonstrate the web address of each extension. Let's start with the simplest one. This is the IDE Fixpack. The IDE Fixpack does its magic behind the scenes. The only way you know it's there is because it's shown on the banner. What does the IDE fix pack do? It fixes some IDE bugs, including memory leaks, and makes compiling a little bit faster. Have you ever had an odd compile bug or an internal compiler error? That's the sort of thing that it can fix. Bear in mind, it does the fixes in the memory, so the IDE and compilers are left unchanged on disk. Also, it helps you get rid of the warm-up pause. If you load a big project and want to search for an identifier or variable, there's usually a one-off pause of a few seconds while it's warming up. The DDEV extension is a large toolbox of small improvements. You can configure it by opening the DDV extensions on the tools menu. DDEV extensions is a collection of small fixes. This includes things like disabling the format hotkey or putting the last compile time into the project's version info. If you prefer the older Delphi component palette, there's a setting to enable it with multiple lines. But you should understand there are now so many components in Delphi that displaying them over multiple lines it overwhelms the IDE. Also I found that the multiple tabs can be a little bit um, flaky at times. What I found I had to do was close Delphi and reopen it before it properly worked. I also had to switch between tabs with forms on till it settled down. DDV extensions is quite complex, there's a lot of features. Thankfully they include a six page PDF document to list all the features. Some features are trivial, others are quite useful, such as the version info dialog that lets you set the same information in all configurations with one click. If you've ever had to set version info you'll know how it can be a pain having to do for the different configurations. Amongst other features in DDV extensions there's the compile progress bar and compile timings, those are my favourites. Like DDV extensions, GXperts comes with documentation in the form of a help file. GXperts is a large collection of experts. An expert in this case is typically a pop-up form that performs some useful functionality. The GXperts collection has been around for over 20 years and is supported by every Delphi version since Delphi 3. A help file provides all of the documentation on each of the experts. Like DDV extensions, GXBits is open source and adds itself into the Delphi IDE. You don't have to look far to see it. Once it's installed, there appears a GXBits drop down menu with over 40 menu items. Let's look at some of the experts provided by GXBits and proceed to project dependencies. Project dependencies opens a form showing all units in a project and you can see what units are used by each unit, as well as what units use the unit they focused on. The indirect dependencies are even better. They show all units in, say, unit C used by unit B that are used by unit A. It sounds more complicated than it actually is. Other, once projects include thousands of lines and tens of units, these insights can be very useful. The observant among you might notice that I switched from Delphi 10.1 Berlin that I started with to Delphi 5 for the last demo but we'll switch back to Delphi 10.1 now when I'm showing through this. The point being that GXBits is there for every version from Delphi 3 onwards. Um, the older versions don't have as many experts. But have you ever needed an ASCII chart and had to look for one on the web? Now there's no need to do it. Switch between hex and decimal values and view what each character looks like for a given typeface and size. The class browser is similar to the class browser provided in Visual Studio. In the window you can see all the classes used in your project, then view the members and methods and even the code itself. The value of this can't be underestimated when trying to understand code written by somebody else. This is augmented by the procedure list that lets you view all procedures and functions in the current unit and jump to the code itself. There's nothing quite as tedious as having to go through a form and edit the tag, help context and in properties of components. But now there's an expert for that. 
Likewise, setting the tab order, especially when F containers such as group boxes with multiple children, can be quite time consuming and error prone. The set tab order expert simplifies this task, even letting you select multiple components and number them in one click. Have you ever taken a component like a dQuery on a form, viewed its properties in the DFM file, then copied and pasted those directly into code so you could manage it in a more OOP style? There's an expert called Components to Code that does that for you. The last expert we're going to mention is the macro library. It takes a macro recording that Delphi already has, but beefs it up on steroids. Delphi offers just one macro file at a time. The G-Experts collection offers you as many as you like and saves them to disk so you can run them at any time. Here you can see what happens when I paste the clipboard contents into a programmer's notepad.